Hi everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrapbooking corner. I'm going to do another Uncle Donald's form layout. We haven't gone yet. We go in two weeks, but I'm trying to get ahead of the game. So all I have to do is put pictures on there when we go. And this one is going to be um, when we go to Uncle Donald's farm, we feed the goats. They give us um, some corn and we feed the goats. So that's what this layout is for. And I'm also trying a different camera angle. I got the camera. It's able to sit on my desk in front of me without being in my way. So awesome. I've always wanted to have it to where it's right in front of me, not at the side. So it's going to work that way. I'm not going to be able to keep it up. But I might actually be able to because it's out of my way as far as working. But we'll see. So that's pretty cool. Okay, anyway. So my paper came from, uh, I believe this paper came from the All Seasons pack, too. Let me double check. Sorry, I'm tired. Been thinking about it. Actually, I believe it, I, don't, I thought it would come from the All Seasons Pack too, but it may have come from Stack 7. So, I'm going to film this, try to get this filmed. I just finished it. I'm going to try to get it filmed before my husband comes in from outside. Sorry. Oh, I need a nap. Okay, anyway, this is how my layout's going to look. If I can get my... going to try to mark where this has to go back down in. And what you do, I like to do these corners as well. That way, when I go to lay all this back down, it will go exactly back where I wanted it. And just to make it a little easier, I'm going to use my zip dry. Oh, here comes my husband. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Okay, now I have my photo mats. Which that one goes here, this one goes here. And this goes down here. This one goes like so. And I'm trying to debate what to maybe pop up. I'm thinking my corn, my goats. I'm just gonna put my pop dogs right there. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, my pen and paper I have on a yellow on a yellow cardstock as a border. And then I have my words, my title. Oh, and I gotta tell you, my title is from Plant and School Book, and it is cut at 
one and three quarters. My corn is from my world. Cut it two and a three inches. And then my goats. Uh, the the one on the second page is actually three and three quarters. This one is two and three quarters from Animal Kingdom. And this is, uh, what is it? Let me see. It is uh, it's not showing me here. It says 7.33, but it's not. I just took a piece of green cardstock and I cut it down to nine by seven. And I took my paper punch. I'm not sure who made this. Fiskers? Does it say? I'm guessing Fiskers. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, that's what I used to do the border on the side to make it look like paper. And then I have my title. On my three days off, sure did go by fast. But then I can have a countdown to Thanksgiving break, two weeks. Okay, so my title's going to go like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere that first. Using my zig, my zig to me. That's what I'm going to do. husband is out washing and detailing his truck. Everybody else has napping, which sounds like a pretty good idea. I don't know, I hope you can't hear the TV in the living room. I did have it down, but my husband turned it up. Because he came in to eat lunch. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a horrible week. One, I have bus duty. All week, and secondly, full moon. in here because I gave them a bath. So they're in here drying. And I let them run around my craft room, but they're litter box trained. So, but they either go from the little kennel I have for them or their litter box. So come out in the litter box and then back in the kennel. So, because they don't feel like hopping around the room. 
just right now. Okay, so there's the title. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this circle. Maybe my zip dry. Right? Sorry, I made them in. I ink the edges of everything using uh, what do I use? Vintage photo. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this photo back down. I'm going to go ahead and have my ATG right on there for just use this. This is going to be for journaling. Alright, and then these are going to get put up on foam. My goat.
Okay. Oops. And then my little goat. Get put right here. Alright. Beautiful. So that is my first page. I'm going to bring in the second page. I'm going to clean up my mess right here. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my title first. But first, let me see that I get it spaced correctly. It's sort of same. Over here, I'm going to start with my S. paper in a litter box. I usually shred it but there's a lot of paper that's clogged up my shredder and I can't get it out. So I'll have to try to get it a little later. But that's alright. They're ripping the paper themselves. Give them something to chew on. Okay. So there's 
my title down. All right. Are you ignoring yourself, Hop Along? Hey, Chatty. Hey, Pumpkin. Okay. So, let me do this little bit. Oops. circle next because I have, don't want the edge of this to dry. Move this over just a little bit. Move my circle over a little bit. circle since it's larger than the one on the first page I want it to the edge of the page. Alright, I might go fits on there pretty good. And then my next photo mat can go down. Boat. Alright. 
So that completes, whoops, sorry, I forgot my camera's not over there anymore, in the corner. Okay, so this completes this layout, and then we got them, if I can get them straight here. I'll zoom out some more, see if I can. Alright, so there is my completed two-page layout, Beating Goats. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back again soon. Bye.